leisure. Let's clarify our concept of leisure. Let's begin by just looking how the term is used today. That's how Aristotle always began when he wanted to study something. He said, how do we use the term? There's something important captured in how we use the term leisure today. I think we think of leisure time as the time when we're free from work. Basically, there's an insight there that, that you can divide life in a pretty important way between time when we're working, which in some sense we have to do, and then time when we're free from work, which we call our leisure time. You know, that's how the ancients used the term leisure also, but they went a little further. I'd say today in, in our usage of it, we probably tend not to make much in the way of a judgment as to how that time should be used. We just basically say leisure time, free time, time that you're not working, and gosh, there's any um, of a number of different ways that people could use that leisure free time. Ancients see that exact same distinction. This is something neat etymologically in Latin, where the word for leisure is otium, O-T-I-U-M, otium. And its opposite is negotium. In other words, put an N-E-G, a little negation at the beginning. Negotium, not leisure. Negotium is the word in Latin from which we get like the word for, in English for negotiation. Negotium in Latin uh, basically means business or even busyness, occupation, work. It's an interesting etymologically that in, here in this ancient usage that work occupation is a kind of negation of otium, that leisure time. Perhaps therein is already implied something of their valuation. But in any case, Aristotle makes explicit when he talks about leisure, the way that he defines leisure is it's not just time that's free from work. It is that. But more to the point, the essence of leisure is in its activity that is worthy in itself or has its meaning in itself. It's not, it's not activity that's done most of all for the sake of something outside of it, as work is, but it's activity that has its meaning in itself. Which raises, of course, the great question, well, gosh, what kind of activities are truly leisure activities then that have their meaning in themselves? I want you to think about that a little bit. I'm gonna kind of let you stew on that. And in this video, we're not gonna answer it. We're not gonna give Aristotle's answer to that. Right now, what I wanna do in moving towards clarifying this concept, see that we have actually a great opportunity to ask one of the most important questions there is in life. We're getting right here to an issue of the meaning of life when we try to clarify our concept of leisure. So what do we have, no matter what, whether we're whether a slightly looser, slightly different, contemporary use of the term leisure or the ancient use. In any case, this much is clear. There's a fundamental distinction in human life between work time and then the time that is free from work called leisure. So let's say here's a key question that we need to ask. And let's, right now we're just going to set it up. Three main answers to the question. How do you relate those two? What's the relationship between leisure and work? Work time and the non-work time. First main way of answering the question. There's not significance, there's a real difference between the two, but there's not an objective hierarchy or objective order between them. People might choose to work, people might choose to do things other than work, but there's not any real objectivity here in the relationship between the two. They're just two different things or ways of acting for human beings. Second main way of answering the question is that leisure is for the sake of work. Work, in other words, having it obvious in objective importance, that's the more important human kind of activity. And at the end of the day, your free time from work is to enable you to go back to your work and do your work better. So leisure, then is fundamentally for the sake of work. The third way of answering the question is that the work time is fundamentally for the sake of the leisure time. But no, here's something really fascinating. There's two ways you could go with that. So in this third answer, there's kind of A and B. The first way of going is, yeah, and leisure is fundamentally amusement. It's fundamentally kind of 
doing the fun things of life. I tend to say this, this is probably implicitly the most common answer to get today. Leisure, thought of as basically kind of fun time, amusement time, vacation time, party time. This is what you're really looking to be able to get to with your work, kind of that maybe that perfect golden retirement of fun. Work is for the sake of that. The other way, though, of answering it in this third way is Aristotle's. That leisure is this richer, noble kind of activity which needs to be distinguished from amusement. And that work is fundamentally for the sake of that. Of course, that makes all the more burning the question, gosh, in Aristotle's mind, what kind of activity is that? Well, I'm going to recommend the videos that we're going to do on work, on amusement, and then finally I'm going to do one called True Leisure, where I'm going to give Aristotle's answer to this burning question to help us further clarify our concept of leisure.